everyone, welcome back to my kitchen and channel. So today I'm going to show you how I make my curry fish. I have added oil in the top to help. So this is oil that I've added here to help. I'm just stirring the oil around. Make sure that oil is heated properly. And here I have my cut up stuff already. I have my onions, I have my garlic, I have my tambran that I'm going to cook, I have my pimentos, pimento pepper, I have my tomatoes, I have my sprig of thyme, I have celery, I have sai, and I have one hot pepper here so to the oil I'm going to add onion make sure that oil is hot before adding in your stuff onion and garlic so I have here my onions and garlic. Cementos, those I'm adding in my tambran as well. Let it loosen up a little bit. Together with my tomatoes and my sprig of thyme. Tambran is a fruit. When it's in season, you can pick them or get them if you get access to them. And shell it. It comes in a shell and it freezes very, very well. And you can have all year round to use it. I use it to make my chutneys. I use it to put it in my curry fish. that saute up and fry up for a bit. In the meantime, you're going to cut some of that hot pepper and put it in because this pepper is very, very hot. It's a scorpion pepper. Ooh, it smells really nice. I'm going to add half of my chives and some of my celery goes in. Let's own that aromatic let out its fragrance in the pot here. Now curry fish um, don't take no time to make very quick as well. While that is frying up. I am going to add my curry. Now you can mix your curry paste separately in a bowl with some hot water and then add it to this. But I don't really necessarily need to do it that extra bowl. So I'm adding in, I'm starting off with my tablespoon. I'm going in with three tablespoons of curry. Together with One tablespoon of saffron powder. And one tablespoon of jira, roasted ground jira. Since it's fish, 
I'm adding in one tablespoon, this is optional, of that andra masala. I like the fragrance in this fish. Put that in it. To coat all that tomato and onion and pepper and cambran. Here is where I add my water. I always have my water heating in the kettle here. So I'll add my water to make my sauce. I always start with my hot water because in that way whatever you're cooking will continue to cook. When you add water straight from the tap it cools down that temperature of that heat and has to wait to start back again. And here is where you will add your salt, if you're using salt, so I'm using my light salt. I will add my salt here to flavor, flavor of this curry, watery, salty. We're going to give this a taste. I will add my pieces of fish. I have my pieces of fish that I have washed it and seasoned it already. Now, some people fry this, they dip it in the flour and fry it in oil and then make their curry fish. But I find that flour mixture protects the fish it protects the fish from falling apart. But if it's just a few pieces of fish, you can do it this way. Or if you like it with that um, flour coated, you can go ahead and fry it first. But I find, in my opinion, when you do it like this, the ingredients get into that fish and coat that fish by itself. And that is what we want. So I'm going to let that cook. I'm going to put my last sprinkle of that um, chive and celery that I have remained here. And I'm going to lower my heat down. medium I'm going to cover it and let that cook and let that cook on medium heat or low heat whichever you prefer cover it all the way and it's finished I'm going to leave it with this amount of sauce in it because I am going to use it with dal and rice so this is the finish, how it would look, the curry fish. And when I turn off that stove, it is going to continue to keep drying out. So this is the perfect consistency that I want. I'm just showing you the pieces of the fish. How it's cooked to perfection. Right, I'll turn over a slice and I will show you how that curry coated, coated that fish rather than when you fry it and you see the specks of the tambourine pieces. So this is what I want, my stove out and you see how nice this gravy is, perfect for that rice. 
So I'm going to cover that and let it keep that heat. And that's it. Perfect curry fish. So I'm going to just show you a close up before I finish off my video. Perfect, perfect curry fish for rice and for dal. Okay, 